All information that can either directly or indirectly identify us is considered personal data. That may include any basic information like our name, email address, as well as more specific and sensitive details, such as uh, passwords, credit card details, browsing history, or even our health-related uh, details. I totally agree with you uh, and would like to highlight also that uh, not everything counts as personal data. Usually data that is not traced back to an individual is not personal. Think of things uh, like uh, company's general email address or overall web traffic numbers or surveys where uh, answers are anonymized. These are all examples of non-personal data. Yeah. Only share personal information when you trust the data recipient and understand why such sharing is necessary or mandatory. Also, in all cases, uh, avoid uh, revealing your personal details on suspicious websites or granting camera, uh, microphone, location or other permissions to apps that you are not fully familiar with. Yeah, that's true. And with the rise of artificial intelligence, most likely all of us uh, tried AI tools, seeking for assistance or, or playing, just playing around. And also, I would like to highlight uh, that we should be careful about sharing our holiday pictures or location uh, details on social media platforms. And last but not least, uh, we should remember not giving out uh, our credit card number or its expiry date uh, or even a security code uh, unless we are on a trusted site and uh, it's absolutely necessary. Steps may vary depending on the sensitivity of personal information, but a good initial step is to try to remove or at least limit access to that shared details. Uh, for example, you can always uh, review your Facebook or Instagram galleries and just delete pictures that you don't want strangers to see. Also, regularly update your passwords and consider changing uh, privacy settings to avoid revealing your personal information like home address or vacation plans to threat actors. Actually, deleting your personal data uh, online might uh, be easier than you think. For example, there are some uh, data removal apps or search engines and social media platforms have special data removal uh, web forms. So if you want to, to disappear online, use these apps or forms and be forgotten online. Yeah. 